This is a quick look at uh, what's in the box of the 118th scale model of the FLAC 36 88 millimeter anti-aircraft gun. This version is put out obviously by I Love Kit, but this is the reissue of the Merit International Kit that I believe came out in 2013. So this is, this video was made January, 2023. So 10, what, 10 years later, um, I believe I Love Kit actually reissued, started the reissue in 2020. Um, inventory became really hard to find during COVID. Um, it finally came back out, started showing up on the shelves. I don't know if this was another reissue or repop from I Love Kit, but I picked one up before they all disappeared. Uh, what was really surprising was the kit was only $45 at uh, scalehobbyist.com. So, um, I actually had to pay for it. This wasn't a uh, affinity program or anything like that. And it looks like they use very similar box art, same graphics, very similar. Um, has a length width parts 350 on the Merit International version. This information is actually over here, but it still all looks very similar. Sides of the box look very similar as well. So this is a, just a quick look at uh, what's inside the box in case anybody's interested and in how this compares to the Merit International version, which is pretty much the same, I would say, based on uh, reviews I've seen on YouTube. So, oh, the other interesting thing is I commented in another video is it seems like nobody's shrink wrapping anymore, but this one's obviously been shrink wrapped, which was nice to see. Um, I just cut it off at the bottom. All right. So what you'll see is this is a pretty large kit and a pretty large model itself. What do I have to compare it against? Um, here's a set of uh, nippers from Xeron. A lot of modelers will have those. But you'll see the shield is huge. This is a, this one is a pre-made, pre-painted die cast version. I believe it's 136th scale, or 32nd scale. It's either 132nd or 135th, but I think it's 136, 132nd scale. So what's interesting to see is the comparison of the gun shield, which is like huge on the 118th scale. So it gives you an idea as to how much shelf space you're gonna need. All right. So, shield, I don't know what to call these, the, that's the trunnions or whatever. Here's the back of the shield. Not sure when I'm going to build this because I just wanted to get it before they disappear. Here's the sprue of the... Gun barrels. Oh, which is cool. The the outer portion of the gun barrel. Oh, it is slide molded. Oh, I thought I was gonna have to fill seams. So that's encouraging. So this is one piece. No seams. Plastic, yeah, but of course you don't have a have to worry about the weight balance if it was a metal barrel and drooping the gun. These are slide molded one piece round. I think these are the recuperators. I'm not sure what that one is, but those are slide molded. I didn't realize that. Oh, that's gonna be nice. This is the lower half of the barrel, and this is two pieces. So a little seam filling cleanup might be required there, but better this than all three of these pieces. Wow. That's encouraging that's going to make it a whole lot easier quicker to build two 
what looked to be identical sprues for the trailers slash bogies. And for size comparison, this is the 132nd scale. huge what's interesting is that this is 1 18th scale Meriden International um, also put out the American 1 M198 howitzer in 1 16th scale and they also put the World War II German howitzer two versions of that in 1 16th scale as well so it's interesting that they put this out in 1 18th scale, but that also matches what they were doing with some uh, airplanes several years back, and they were making some uh, World War II and modern day airplanes, Merit International was, in 1 18th scale. Those were sweet, but they're pretty much very difficult or impossible to find now, and they're super duper expensive. I just recently saw one of the 1 18th scale Tomcats going for like two three thousand on ebay that's just ridiculous it'd be nice if they um could reissue those but the merit international website seems to be dormant based on their content so that's unfortunate because it'd be nice if somebody else would put put out those 118 scale uh, airplanes again maybe we'll see those sometime in the future when somebody buys up the molds that would be nice anyway repeat of the um Trailer frame parts, wheels, vinyl, um, and don't look to be any seams on the outer surface of the tires to remove. This was, oh, good. Four here. Another four here. Sorry about the lighting, but it uh, some of my lighting f glares off the plastic. Although, let's see if I can get a little bit better lighting there. So... There's no... No seam here, so that's nice. Looks like there's a little flash, but that's minimal. So can, I don't even know if the camera's gonna pick that up. Razor plate, easy to take care, take care of that, easy enough. All right. Base of the gun, something that has Come off. Doesn't look to be. Oh, uh, looks like an ammo case. A wooden ammo case. Some shells. Oh, these are one piece shells. Nice. So we're not going to have to. There is. Uh, a light seam mark, but that'll be easy to take care of versus having to glue them together and then fill and sand them. So that'll be nice. So some pretty decent detail. This looks like pieces to the gun. Pieces to the cable frames for where the cable gets wrapped. We'll even have representation of the cable, it looks like, right there. It would have to be painted. Rims.
for the bogeys trailers. What is this one? like more pieces to the gun components themselves. Gun components, pieces to the bogeys, it looks like. Outriggers for the bottom of the gun. Look to be two sprues, same pieces, and other outriggers for the gun, two sprues of the same pieces. Same thing. Empty box. Instructions. We won't spend a lot of time on this. Decals, decals. Kill marks. Parts list, instructions, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages of instructions. Based on some videos I've seen, there will be some seam filling and cleanup in the um, frame pieces. Doesn't look too bad though, if you wanna to go to such detail. And then a um, color guide for a painting reference, just in the gray version. All right, so there you have it. One eighteenth scale. I love kits reissue of the German Flak thirty six eighty eight millimeter. This is January twenty twenty three. Kit was forty five dollars on Scale Hobbyist. Ten dollars shipping. Um, considering today's prices, that's uh, pretty pretty cheap. I suggest if you're interested, get one before they disappear. Actually, this was showing as available um, for about two days. And then it went back ordered for about a week, maybe two. Then it showed available. I jumped on ordered one. As soon as I put it in my cart, everything it started showing back ordered again. I ordered it. Came in really short time there, really quick, at least on the East Coast for delivery. So point being is, seems like there could be either limited or the supply that was there has been uh, sold out pretty quick. I don't know. But if you want one, I wouldn't delay or wait because I'm thinking this could sell out pretty quick and who knows when they'll reissue. Thanks for watching.